Hello guys, welcome to my new video for MSc Mathematics. So in this video, I will give you notes about the basic of the topology. Okay, so let's start. So as per the definition, what is topology? What is topology? Topology is an area of mathematics. Topology is an area of mathematics which studies how spaces are organized in terms of positions. Okay, this is the basically definition of the subject of the topology okay in the, my previous video i have already uh, given in the video of books for topology i have explained that what is topology now what is topological space space what is topological place or t is a topology in x let x be a non-empty set okay let x be a non-empty set that means x have some elements x have some elements okay let t be a class of subsets of x so what is the class of subset of x if you see here if you see here if we have a set like this i mean abc are the members of this set x then the subset of x are the following okay the what is the following uh, formula to uh, uh, determine the uh, number of subset of a set that is 2 to the power 2 to the power the members number of members 2 to the power the number uh, number of members uh, i have discussed all this in this set theory so you can go to set theory and uh, check about sets okay all the notes are given for sets uh, in this set theory so how to determine the subsets of a i mean the number of subsets of a set that is the 2 to the power the member of the set so we can see here what will be the what will be the subsets here 8 to 8 number of 8 will be the subsets so 5 x a b c a b b c c a these are all will be the subset of x so, okay now what is the class of subset class of subsets means this one all the subset okay class of subsets means all the subsets all the subsets or maybe some of the subsets okay maybe some of the subsets it can be all of the subsets it can be some of the subsets, subsets okay so let x be an, x be an empty set let t be a class of subset of x then xt is called topological space if and only if the, th the following three axioms satisfied okay so what are the axioms phi that is i have i have already explained to you what is phi that is null set or empty set that should be belongs to t okay the whole x the whole x okay the whole x should be belongs to t okay so that is the what the further is that is uh, that is the empty set and the whole set x are members of t okay so these two be members of t look when you find the class of subsets phi phi will be there right or for every set every class of subsets phi will be a subset okay keeping this in mind for every pair of subset because phi is subset of any set if you have any set then you can consider phi as a subset of any set okay so if you can go to set theory you can understand better over there if you if you are not getting it right okay go to set theory just go through the uh, that video for once and then come here you will understand everything okay okay now next next exercise is union of any member of t is also a member of t okay union of any member of t okay so let us suppose a and b if we do the union what we will get a and b right so a b is also belonging to it. okay a b belonging to it. okay now intersection of any two subset of t is also a member of t now if you do intersection of a b what we will get we will get phi so phi is also a member of t right so these are the three axioms one is phi belongs to t x belongs to t next union of any member of t is also a member of t and intersection of any of any two members of t is also a member of t next
let us define a collection of the subset of x as under t equal to phi x a and a b and verify whether this is this whether t is a topology or not so both phi and x belongs to t so the first condition is satisfied then we can see that if we do union of phi and a what we will get a if we do union of phi and phi and a b what we will get a b or if we do union of phi and x what we will get x so all these are belongs to t all this belongs to t again if we do intersection of a and a b we will get what we will get we will get sorry union of a and a b what we will get a b then that also belongs to t right now if we do union of a and x what will we get x that will be also belongs to if you do union of a b and x what will you guess x right that will be that will be also belongs to t so to understand this you should have good deep knowledge in set at, at least the knowledge that i provided in the set theory video that is required to understand this so go to so go to the set theory video for once and then if you come here you will understand everything so the union of arbitrary collection of set in the t is again in t so this second condition is also satisfied right now what is it now come to third condition if we have inter if you do infect intersection of phi and a what we will get we will get phi because nothing is common in these two right and phi and a b again we will get phi nothing common phi and x we will get phi nothing common phi so and we know that phi belongs to t again we do intersection of a and a b what we will get a a and x what we will get a, a sorry a, a and if we do in, uh, intersection of a b and x what we will get a b so all of these are belongs to t so the third condition is also satisfied right so the third condition is also satisfied now there are uh, two kind of topology one is in discrete topology and is discrete topology okay so t phi x is called in discrete topology and is denoted by i and is and is denoted by x i called and the and and x i is called the in discrete topological space okay so if we have a topological topology okay that only contain the empty set and the and the set okay empty set and the set then we say that is in discrete topology okay and what is discrete topology discrete for discrete topology is the collection of all the subset of x okay the all the collection the collection of all the subset of x so for this topology you can see the all the subset of x are x are there okay all the subsets are x are along with the x and phi okay so in such a case we call this topology a discrete so in discrete is only phi and the set x for in discrete phi x and all the subsets okay it's called discrete topology now there are two basic theorems of topology one is intersection of two topologies also a topology so let x be a non empty set so let x be a non empty set let t1 and t2 are two topologies okay now we have to prove that what if we prove we can prove that t some element of x belongs to t1 intersection 2 phi belongs to t1 intersection 2 and x belongs some element x belongs to t1 union 2 then we can prove we, that then it, it will be proved that t1 intersection 2 is a topology right if these three axioms satisfies then it what does that mean if these three axioms satisfy it means that this inter intersection of group topologies is also a topology so since t1 and t2 are two topological spaces in ax so if x is x be an element of x so ax okay then x belongs to t1 and x belongs to t2 right therefore x belongs to t1 intersection 2 so intersection so so here if we prove, what do you prove that the intersection axiom is axiom is satisfied right now right because x1 belongs to 2 a, sorry x belongs to t1 x belongs to t2 so if it belongs to both t1 and t2 so this is a common thing so if you do intersection of t1 and t2 what we will get we will get x so and x belongs to this set x right so the intersection axiom is satisfies now we have to show now let us suppose a belongs to t1 intersection t2 and b belongs to t1 intersection t2 okay 
now we have to show that phi phi that is f dz phi let let us suppose that you intersection a b returns phi okay so if you if you uh, show that a intersection b belongs to t1 and t2 okay t1 intersection t2 then what will be proved then phi will, phi will also belong to intersection of t1 and t2 okay so let's prove that how we can prove that we prove that like this since a is a belongs to intersection of t1 and t2 then a should be belongs to t1 a should be belongs to t2 right if b belongs to intersection of t1 and t2 then b should, should be belongs to t1 and uh, b should be belongs to t2 right therefore a intersection b right therefore a intersection b should be belongs to t1 and t2 because a is common in t1 and t2 b is common in t1 and t2 so if we do intersection of a and b so these are the common things in a b so we get t1 intersection t2 right so phi then what and what is a intersection b a intersection b is phi so phi will be belongs to t1 and t2 because uh, we have assumed that they, that let phi be the intersection of a1 uh, a and b right again see that if a1 belongs to t1 okay and a2 belongs to uh, a1 a belongs to t1 and b belongs to t1 that what does mean t in t1 i mean a and b both belongs to t1 right so if we intersect a1 and a and b we will get t1 again if you if you see a and again t2 belongs to a and b so if you intersect a and b again we will get t2 right so if you do intersection of a and b so we will get intersection of t1 and t2 right as t1 t2 are two uh, topologies on x so x belongs to t1 t2 and phi belongs to t1 t2 right so t1 t2 belongs to phi x phi so the empty set and whole set axiom is also satisfied now let us suppose a1 b1 belongs to uh, inter union belongs to x and a belongs to t1 intersection t2 and b belongs to t1 intersection t2 now a belongs to t1 and b belongs to uh, a belongs to t2 and b belongs to t1 and b belongs to t2 now if we do union a b union of a and b we will get t1 and if, again if you do, do union of a and b what we will get we will get t2 so we can say that if we do union of a and b then we will get intersection of t1 and t2 right so we and what is the union of a and b x so x will be belonging to t1 intersection t2 right right so right so so the union axiom is also satisfied again i am going through it now let us suppose a union b is x right a union b is x that means some element of x is common in a and b and a1 belongs to t1 intersection t2 and b belongs to t1 intersection t2 what does that mean that means a belongs to both t1 and t2 and b belongs to both t1 and t2 okay if a belongs to both t1 and t2 and b belongs to both t1 and t2 so then if we do inter union of a b a union b from there if you do look a belongs to t1 b belongs to t so a union b we will get t1 and again b belongs to t a belongs to t2 and b belongs to t2 so a union b we will get t2 then a union b will be should be belongs to t1 intersection t2 so x belongs to t1 intersection t2 right so union axiom is also satisfied so the uh, intersection of uh, two topologies is also a topology that is proved next if t1 or t2 are two topologies in x then t1 union to t2 is not necessary we are topology okay so to prove that let us uh, suppose we have a set let x equal to a b c and then t1 equal to x phi a and t2 equal to x phi b now if we have if we have let us suppose a equal to a, a a and b equal to b this is the single element set okay singleton set so to do a union b we will get a b right but if we do t union t2 if we do t union t2 we will not get a b right we will get a x phi a and b so 
So AB does not belongs to T1, one, uh, T1 union union two. So the union exigeism is not satisfying over here, right? So union exigeism is not satisfying here. And for this, okay, for this you may have you may have thought that sir, you just shown us that phi belongs to this T1 belong T1 T2 intersection is satisfying T1 T2 union is satisfying the exam then what about the whole set x okay whole for the for the whole set x as both of T1 T2 are topologies of x right so by definition by definition I mean in the question it is given right it, in the question it is given sorry for the in this case in the question is in, in the uh, it is given that x belongs to t1 and t2 right as these are topologies as these are topologies right as these are topologies in x so in obvious way x belongs to t1 and t2 so x belongs to t1 and t2 phi belongs to t1 and t2 union of uh, uh, t1 t2 uh, belongs to uh, some element of x t1 intersection t2 belongs to some element of x that means all the exisms are satisfying so intersection of two uh, topologies will be a topology but union of two topologies may not be a topology but union of two topologies may not be a topology correct so thank you for watching subscribe my channel for more videos like this